Hello everyone, welcome to the online digital art.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the process of color separation in Adobe Photoshop CS5. The color separation process is done after the color reduction process through index color method that you will find in my previous videos. So first have a look into the final image and this is the final image that I have done as you can see that I separated the colors that we have in our artwork in the different layers individually. Okay, so after doing the color reduction process, as we know that in our color table, we have six colors. Go to the index color. After doing the color reduction process, click on the customs, the color table box will appear. As you can see, we have six colors. So now we are going to change the mode from index color to RGB. So as we know we have 6 color in our color palette. So first we create a 6 new layers. To create a new layer you can go to the layers new then click OK. Or you can simply click here to create a new layer. Now select the layer 1, now go to the menu bar, click select, then click on the color range. The color range box will appear. Just move the cursor to the yellow color. As you can see, the mouse cursor will change to pick tool. Click on the yellow color, then click OK and after click the yellow color will get selected. As you can see, the yellow color gets selected. Select the layer 1 and press Alt plus Backspace to fill the yellow color in the layer 1. Now name the layer 1 to yellow. OK. As you can see the yellow color gets selected and have filled the yellow layer with the yellow color. The same process we will going to do with the other 5 layers. Now select the layer 2 and name it Cyan. Now again go to the menu bar and click on the select and the click color range. Make sure your background layer is visible. Just move the mouse cursor to cyan colors. The cursor will change to pick tool and then click on cyan colors and click OK. After clicking OK, the cyan color will get selected. Now press Alt plus Backspace to fill the cyan colors in the cyan layer. Make sure you have selected the cyan layer. Now select the layer 3 and name it to pink. Now again, we will going 
go to the menu click on the select and the color range then we will click on the pink color As you can see the pink color got selected, press Alt plus backspace to fill the pink color in the pink layer. Make sure you have selected the pink layer. Now select the layer 4 and rename it as brown. Now again we will go to the menu, click on the select then color range, the color range box will appear and just move the cursor over the brown color. And the mouse color will change to pick tool. Click on the brown color, then click OK. After clicking OK, the brown color will get selected. As you can see, the brown color gets selected. Now press Alt plus backspace to fill the brown color in the brown layer. Make sure you have selected the brown layer. Then press Ctrl plus D to, de to deselect the selection and now go to the layer 5 and rename it as navy. Then go to the menu bar, click on the select, then color range. The color range box will appear. Just move the cursor to navy color. And click OK on the navy color. Click OK. Then navy color will get selected. As you can see, the navy color got selected. Press Alt plus backspace to fill the navy color in the navy layer. Make sure you have selected the navy layer. Now select the layer 6 and rename it black. Now go to the menu bar, click on the select, then color range. The color range box will appear. Just move your mouse cursor to the black color. The cursor will change to pick tool. Click on the black color. Click OK. After clicking OK, the black color will get will be selected as you can see. Then press Alt plus backspace to fill the black color in the black layer. Make sure you have selected the black layer. Then press Ctrl plus D to deselect this. As you can see, six colors are separated and put on the different layers. Let's zoom it out and you can see that all the six colors have been separated. These tutorials give you a quick and easy way of color separation in Adobe Photoshop. Now you have learned the process of color separation in Adobe Photoshop. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials.